behalf of uh, Perpetua and the Durack Gallery, I'd like to introduce my friend of many, many years, Elizabeth Durack, who will open this exhibition. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Dear people, distinguished guests, I'm looking straight at you, Tom, friends and family, my daughter Perpetua and I welcome you all warmly here today to this, the first exhibition of The Art of Eddie Burrup. Now, although it must be about four years since Eddie Burrup emerged as my fully-fledged alter ego, it is for a much longer period that he has been hovering in the wings, as it were, awaiting his cue to come on stage. So accustomed had I personally become to Eddie Burrup's ubiquitous presence that when he did finally make his entrance, the last thing I expected was that his appearance would produce a series of boos and hisses rather than applause. And with such an unforeseen reaction, I must say I was initially completely nonplussed. I had been assured that to personally reveal the Elizabeth durack Eddie Burrup merger, as I did in a story to Art Monthly last March, would avoid any possible unfavourable reaction. But somehow this miscarried, and what I aimed to prevent happening, happened. Gradually, I hope the emphasis will move more, and rightly, to the work itself, rather than its authorship as Eddie Burrup has much that he believes is important to say and to express through his vision and his images. And he can do it better than Elizabeth Durack. My own position in all this remains very ambivalent. And for me, there will always be an element of mystery concerning this, the last creative phase of my lo long life as a practicing artist. Apart from all else, the art of Eddie Burrup bears tangible witness to the deep debt that I owe to the first Australians. Indeed, not only myself, but previous generations of our family have also been deeply indebted. It is doubtful if the pastoral enterprise of my grandfather in southwest Queensland and that of my father in the Kimberley could have been accomplished without the aid of such remarkable Aboriginal men as Pumpkin of the Buntamurra, of Argyle Boxer of the Kalkadoon, of Ulysses of Jaru and Buller, and I could name many others. They live on in family recall and affection. I now have much pleasure in declaring this, the premier exhibition of the art of Eddie Burrup, open. Thank you. I mean, she grew up with those people, and those people have seen her from young, younger days, you know, childhood, or you'd say. But I'm sure those people were safe by telling her those stories, you know. So I don't see, maybe some other, other people might see it differently. Some of the Aboriginal people around the room were comfortable with the idea, what, what are they, what, what's the word amongst the Aboriginal people that you... Well, it depends on what type of people, you know, if they, they're from the people that come from that country, you know, and, well, I can't say much for it, but what I see, how this speak is, all this is out there. It has really meaningful, you know, whether it's dog painting or 
the art she just did. I reckon it's really good. So I'm sure because if those people didn't trust her, you know, or didn't want her to tell the stories, it would be it, it, then people can talk. You know, but it came from the old people, and it's their story, and they gave it to her, and well, no one else can say anything else. You can't exploit something that was given to you freely if there's any talk of appropriation. It's, it's not, not part of Edinburgh. Are you at all worried that by having an exhibition you will start up all the controversy again? Not for a minute. It's, it's better to, to bring things out. You don't think of a controversy? No, no, no. It was, went off half cock, that controversy. I'm not the least bit worried. Do you intend to keep painting as any borough? I can't help it. So you, you just keep, you'll keep on painting? He's more or less taken over my creativity.